We now go with our correspondent in Ecuador, Stefania Bravo, for more details on Sunday's election day. Good afternoon. This is Estefania Bravo reporting live from Quito. I'm currently at the Hotel Quito, where it is a hotel where um, the Citizens Revolution Movement is going to wait for the official results. It's currently 422 local time, about 30 minutes to go before polls are closed. And we are here. This is what we're seeing so far. The press has come here. Uh, it is expected that the candidate for the for presidency, Luisa Gonzalez, arrives here as well to wait for the votes. This is what we see so far. We see the press that is here. We see um, many people from different channels gathered here to see and to expect the results. It's expected that close, close to 6.30 p.m. local time, official polls are gonna st start coming in and we're going to be waiting to see what happens in the next few hours. People in Ecuador voted on Sunday in the country's runoff election. The first voters line up at polling station showed signs of optimism. I see it in a positive way that people can react in a positive way to make a positive change for our country and avoid all the problems that we have had, such as narcoterrorism and assaults, kidnappings, the insecurity that currently exists in our country because of organized crime. That's what we expect with this new change. In the framework of the second round of general elections in Ecuador, the presidential candidate of the Citizen Revolution, Luisa Gonzalez, voted early in the morning and called Ecuadorians to vote consciously for justice, dignity, and a country of rights. The candidate to the executive went to a polling station in the municipality of Chone, province of Manabi, in the middle of a strong security guard and with the usual bulletproof vest. Gonzalez was accompanied by her running mate, Andres Arauz, and both will be in Guayaquil and Quito during the day to join the voting for the prefects and mayors of those localities. For her part, the candidate expressed that she has all the faith, strength and hope that Ecuador will make a turn towards dignity and a country of rights.